it was just another winter night for Calvin and Hobbes. They slept soundly in front of the fire without care in the world. Little did they know what waited for them the next day. <laughs> Upon waking, they went about their daily routines. They ventured outside, soaking in the sights of their peaceful mountain community. A bit later, while making snow angels under the bright sun, Calvin got a careless idea. Starting with a humble snowball, he began crafting the torso of a snow Frankenstein. He then tried to raise his snow creation from the depths of his imagination. Calvin declared into the sky, By the power invested in me, by the mighty and awful snow demons, I command you to come to life. Live. 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 And God answered. Calvin started running frantically towards the tree line. Hobbs was only a few steps ahead as they reached a close by tree for cover. They paused for a moment to gain their bearings and see where the snow goon had gone. And then they saw it. Quickly, Calvin constructed a weapon to defend them from the goon. Fly straight and true, hit hard and square. This, oh snowball, is my prayer, he proclaimed in the heavens. He steadied his aim, and then launched it into the sky. It struck the beast, and absorbed into its icy body within seconds. Without skipping a beat, it began to create something. It took Calvin only a moment to realize what was happening. The snow goo was creating an army of his own. Calvin ran from the tree to go build an armory elsewhere. On arrival, he quickly dropped to his knees and started crafting endless snowballs. Soon, he was ready for anything, and he taunted the world, which taunted him back. As he lifted himself from the cold, dead snow, anger coursed through his veins. The war had just begun. By midday, many lives had been lost, children eaten alive, and others crushed to death. Soon, the snow goons turned on each other, and anarchy reigned. Death blanketed the battlefield. Creatures rose from the depths, and vehicular snow slaughter became strategic. As morals were broken, suicide ran rampant. Army ranks had to be built to quell the rebellions, and capital punishment was enforced. On the other side of the war, life was just as ruthless. No prisoners were taken, and no mercy was given. Before long, night had fallen. It had been a long day, and Calvin and Hobbes were trying to recuperate before hell rose again at sunrise. No matter how hard he tried, Calvin couldn't get to sleep. Peering out the window at the roaming creatures below, he let his mind wander. Before long, he knew what had to be done. He woke Hobbes and dragged him down the stairs. We're going to freeze them, Hobbes. Freeze them all. Once outside, Hobbes turned on the water and Calvin took aim. The cool water mixed with the frigid winter air and concocted an instantly freezing liquid 
that froze the goons where they stood. He had done it. He won. He stopped the beasts in their tracks and was triumphant. Calvin laughed and screamed as his plan succeeded. He walked into the moonlight, glowing in relief. Calvin thought he wouldn't have to worry about the snow goons anymore. But he couldn't have been more wrong.